Hello and welcome back again everyone. Today we are going to recap a 2015 Chinese war action film titled Wolf Warrior. The movie begins when a group of People's Liberation Army PLA Special Operations Forces secretly heads to the southern border of China to raid a drug smuggling operation on an abandoned chemical facility. Sergeant Lang Fang, a skilled PLA sniper, is in his camouflage position awaiting orders to shoot the smugglers. As the raid commences, the PLA forces silently kill the drug smugglers on a lookout to not alert those inside the facility. Then they all surprisingly attack the smugglers inside, including their leader, Wu Ji. The smugglers hastily flee, while Wu Ji sets off bombs to attack the PLA forces. After that, Wu Ji frighteningly holds one of his men captive to demand a car from the PLA forces in exchange for not killing the hostage. He cowardly hides behind reinforced concrete. The PLA force commanding officer orders a ceasefire. Yet Lang Fang has other plans concentratedly. Lang Fang Fang aims his sniper rifle at the reinforced concrete, where Wu Ji hides. The commander orders him to not shoot yet. He disobeys. Then he pulls his trigger three times to create a hole and make the bullet slip through to kill Wu Ji. As a result of his actions, he is set to meet the higher officers to judge his demeanor. The higher officers furiously ask him several questions about his impulsive action. Lang Fang doesn't feel remorse for what he did, and claims to do it again. Xiao Yun, the female commander of the Wolf Warriors forces, is fascinated with what he did. However, Lang Fang has to stay and solitary confinement. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, Min Dang Wu Ji's brother is visited by police to arrest for his numerous unlawful actions. Min Dang willingly goes with them. But first, he stands still outside his house while lighting a cigarette. Then, an officer attempts to take the cigarette, but gets shot by an American mercenary. Alerted, the police force attempts to shoot the mercenary. But unfortunately, their position explodes as an elite squad of mercenaries bombs at them. All the police force in the area falls dead, and the mercenaries rejoice. Min Dang remains alive and unharmed. Sometime later, Min Dong pays respect to his dead brother Wu Ji by having a funeral ceremony. Afterward, he opens up four briefcases full of cash with a single picture of Lang Fang. Then to avenge his dead brother, he orders the mercenaries to take down Lang Fang in exchange for his money. The mercenaries follow his command and immediately depart to China. After a while in solitary confinement, Xiao Yun visits Lang Fang in his cell. Xiao Yun introduces herself as the commander of the Wolf Warrior Company full of skilled and professional soldiers. To her surprise, Long Fang knows little about the wolf warriors and, interestingly, wants to participate in the force. So Xiao Yun invites him, and he unhesitatingly accepts her invitation immediately. A day later, Lang Fang is excitedly departing to the Wolf Warrior Company's post through a military aircraft. As he arrives, the Wolf Warriors effortfully welcome him by bringing numerous military tanks and all their members with them. Zhao Bing, deputy commander of the Wolf Warriors, assigns Lang Fang to face Squad Yufei, then joins welcomes Lang Fang. After some time, the Wolf Warriors are inside a military aircraft departing to a remote area on China's southern border to train against Red Forces. One of the Wolf Warriors curiously asked Lang Fang about what he did in the abandoned chemical facility. He silently smiles as he learns the rumors have spread to all the forces. Suddenly their training begins even before their aircraft lands. Then they all readily stand at the exit door of the aircraft and consecutively jump. As the Wolf Warriors reach the forest in a remote area through parachute shoots, they spread out to ambush the Red Force. Xiao Yun in the line orders them to commence an attack on the base. In doubt, Lang Feng perceives that their attack will fail, yet Xiao Bing confidently tells him that they will never forget. Thus, Lang Feng's squad moves separately to commence a different plan. As expected, the rest of the Wolf Warrior fails, but fortuitously, Lang Feng's squad remains. They devise a plan to attack the Red Force base. Their planted fake bomb explodes and the Red Force alertly spreads spreads out their base. After that, the Red Force commander attempts to escape. However, Lang Fang manages to shoot him with fake bullets and win that round. Later that night, Lang Fang's squad is having a break while on the lookout in the parameter of the forest. Suddenly, Xiao Bing and another comrade manically rush to them due to werewolves coming their way. Surrounded by a group of werewolves, the five opened fire at the werewolves to avoid getting to them. Simultaneously, they place a bayonet on their rifle to close combat with the werewolves. Luckily, they shoo away the werewolves wolves and they all survived the attack. Meanwhile, the mercenaries have arrived at the southern border of China. They devise a plan to ambush and target Lang Fong and the rest of the wolf warriors tomorrow morning. Morning comes and Lang Fang's squad heads again to their training grounds. Unprepared Yu Fei and three of his squad members get ambushed by grenades while Lang Fong, at a far distance, attempts to locate the enemy. Then Long Feng discovers that the enemies are not the Red Forces but the mercenaries. Also, he realizes they're no longer training but are dealing with 
with a real ambush. Afterward, Lang Fang attempts to catch on to the mercenaries, but gets continuously targeted by the sniper mercenary. On the other hand, Yu Fei fails to attack Tomcat, the leader of the mercenaries who are approaching him. He gets knocked down and shot in the back, thus making him fall dead. Then, Lang Fang lures Tomcat and attacks him. Finally, Lang Fang flees the scene unarmed to escape Tomcat's continuous shooting. As the PLA reinforcement arrives, the mercenaries retreat to the forest. They check on the unconscious soldiers and find Yu Fei cold body. Meanwhile, as the mercenaries drive away from the forest, they notice a military aircraft warning them to stop moving. So the chasing begins as the mercenaries continue to hastily escape. As the military aircraft outran the mercenaries, it launched a missile and destroyed the mercenaries' vehicles. However, the mercenaries survive when they exit their vehicle just in time. Meanwhile, in Zhao Yun facility, Zhao Yun discovers they're up against Min Dang, but then notice from their satellite that Min Dang had entered the southern border of China, where the wolf warriors stayed at the same time in the forest. Lang Fang carries the dead body of Yu Fei. The wolf warriors express sorrow towards Yu Fei's passing. Minutes later, military aircraft parachute supplies to the wolf warriors. They gather all the weapons and supplies to avenge Yu Fei to the mercenaries. Then the military aircraft pulls Yu Fei body up while the wolf warriors emotionally salute him. After that, the wolf warriors return to the forest to search for the mercenaries. They spread out the woods to easily search for the mercenaries. Unfortunately, some pass through the river with mine traps that explode directly at them. Ahead, the mercenaries place multiple booby traps to outnumber the wolf warriors in no time. Meanwhile, Lang Fang and the others continue searching on the forest's other side. They notice mine traps on their way and fall back to change their direction. However, Tomcat presses a button to set off the mine to blast near the squad. As Lang Fang and the others delay to stand from the shock, the mercenaries shoot at them from a distance. Lang Fang and the others continuously open fires in the mercenaries' direction. Yet Lang Fang learns that the mercenaries are out of the firing range and that they are just wasting their bullets for nothing. Later on, the injured wolf or platoon commander aims a gun at his head, but a mercenary sniper shoots his hand. His men attempt to reach him but fall dead from the shooting. He emotionally orders Lang Fang to kill him, but Lang Fang hesitates to shoot. Thus, he devises a plan to continuously shoot at the tree nearby. The squad helps him shoot the tree to fall and cover them from the mercenary's view. Wittingly, Lang Fang manages to reach the platoon commander and saves him. Afterward, Lang Fang calls on a medic to treat the commander. He then proceeds to his comrades and begins devising a plan. Now in command, he orders his comrades to outflank the other mercenaries. At the same time, he runs toward the sniper mercenary to attack. As he quickly runs to the higher ground in the forest, he continues to trick the sniper by moving in a different direction. With the help of Xiao Yun on the line, she directs Lang Fang to change position every 2.3 seconds. As Lang Fang manages to reach the sniper, he mercilessly shoots him in the head, eventually killing him. However, Tom Cat shoots him too, making him hastily flee the scene. Simultaneously, the wolf warriors outnumbered the mercenaries. Meanwhile, Xiao Bing fights one-on-one -on -one with one of the mercenaries. As he moves closer to him, he kills him by slipping a knife on the mercenary's neck. On the other hand, one of the wolf warriors fights one-on-one -on -one with another mercenary. He chokes him while setting his grenade to blow them both. However, Shy Rubberneck, another wolf warrior, grabs his comrade to save him seconds before the grenade explodes. Luckily, they survive with only minor injuries. Afterward, most of the wolf warriors step on the landmine once again, which explodes right through them. Lang Fang devastatingly sees their state and attempts to save them, but he sees Tomcat from a distance and chases him instead. Alone, Lang Fang follows Tomcat by quickly moving through the mine traps unharmed. Unfortunately, he accidentally steps directly on an anti-personnel mine. Xiao Yun commands him to calm down and focus on getting out safely. Luckily, Lang Fang manages to disable the mine and survive. Xiao Yun sigh in relief. After that, Lang Feng chases Tomcat again and continuously shoots at him but misses. Finally, Tomcat attacks him and they start shooting each other with their handguns. Simultaneously, they both ran out of bullets and began to closely combat each other with knives. During close combat, Lang Fang exhaustedly falls to the ground. Tomcat furiously aims his knife at Lang Fang's neck, but Lang Fang manages to outsmart him by slipping the knife to his neck. Tomcat falls dead afterward. Sometime later, medical personnel from the PLA force arrive. First, they treat the wounded soldiers and place them on a stretcher. Then, Shi Rubberneck tells one of the medics to look for Lang Fang somewhere in the forest. Then we see Min Dong in a PLA uniform. Min Dong overheard their conversation and presumed that Long Fong had not been killed yet. Later on, they arrive at the area where Leng Fong is. A medic approaches Long Fong, but Long Fong eventually recognizes his wrist tattoo from one of those drug smugglers in the abandoned facility. As the medic's about to inject Long Fong with a deadly poison, Long Fong grabs his arm and forces the injection to slip through the medic neck. In the distance,
distance, Min Dang sees him and furiously shoots him. Lang Fang hastily grabs the dead medic's rifle and shoots at Min Dang and his men. Then as Min Dang is about to escape at the edge of China's border, Lang Fang attempts to shoot him but runs out of bullets. Unfortunately, Min Dang's paramilitary forces arrive to attack Lang Fang. Swiftly, Lang Fang uses his bayonet to approach Min Dang and hold him as a hostage. Min Dang's men hold back and notice numerous play military aircraft arriving. Min Dang's men retreat leaving Min Dang to be arrested. After a while, Xiao Yun and the commander Shai arrive to arrest Min Dang. Leng Feng receives his treatment and converses with Xiao Yun afterward. After some time, Xiao Yun arrives at the residence of Long Fang's father. She hands him over a medallion awarded to Long Fang for his bravery. Long Fang's father grows emotionally proud while reminiscing about his past in the military. The movie ends when Lang Fang and Xiao Yun are in their vehicle and set to go on a date together.